Good afternoon. Tom Steele, I'm continuing creating an audio book for you by reading the book, Date Young Women, updated for the 21st century. I use why, the number two, mate.com to download videos and take off the MP3. I listen to podcasts on my phone all the time in my car. I don't go anywhere with listen to that dribble called mainstream media. No thanks. I listen to podcasts. And you can listen to me on, on your phone. Just strip off the audio, and there you go. I'm reading chapter 13, Court Her, the longest chapter in the book. It begins with two champagne glasses toasting against the sunset and the quote underneath. There are two phases of a relationship. Phase one is everything before penetration. Phase two is everything after. Okay. Courtship is phase one. It is practiced by all species in which the female does not instinctively and actively seek copulation. Each species has a ritual that must be followed carefully for the male to be permitted to mount and penetrate. The rituals all involve displays of dominance and aggressiveness on the part of the male, as the female displays reluctance and resistance, and finally submissiveness. Adult gorillas take five hours to complete an intricate dance of gestures and branch waving. That's four hours longer than it takes to conduct the West Side Singles Bar ritual of lying about what you do for MGM, mentioning your new BMW, flashing your gold American Express card, talking about how boring Aspen was, ad nauseum, all that just to get to clap. <laughs> aggressive males. Females of all species except one refuse to mate with non-aggressive males. The exception is homo sapiens. Luckily, the apparition is limited to neurotic ball busters past 30. You will get nowhere with young women if you're not aggressive. They have not lived long enough to become crazy enough to seek a passive male. They have only limited courting experience and no knowledge of how or when to be the aggressor or even how to be an equal, except on the rare occasions when a young woman is attracted to the shy boy at school. Then, and only then, are they an aggressor. They only start a conversation or two until he gets the idea, then they back off and let the man be in charge, the way it's supposed to be. Too old to marry, now what? The young woman you've chosen has what every male from 14 to 74 wants. What will convince her to give it to you? When she knows there are no wedding bells in your future. The answer has two parts. Part one, she must think having an affair is her idea. After you get it started, by being assertive, slow down and court her. Just be your silly old self and have fun until she thinks, realizes, discovers, it would be fun and exciting to have an affair with you. Part one is solved. Part two, she must have the fantasy of a romance with you before she will have an affair. Part one, she must think the affair is her idea. Part two, she must have the fantasy of a romance with you before she will have an affair. Young women do not see intercourse as the purpose of courtship. Their ultimate destination is the altar. To solve part two, just don't burst her bubble. During the early stages, you cannot say, I'm never getting married again, or dare not show obvious interest in other females, and you cannot be obviously experienced, like slick and smooth, like a player. Let it happen. It's not necessary to lie, cheat, or manipulate. In her head and heart, she knows the realistic chance of a lifelong romance with you is non-existent. When she's ready to have an affair, she creates the fantasy possibility so she can rationalize and proceed. As you read from here to the end of the book, see how everything is designed to let it happen, not make it happen. Courtship by conversation. We humans conduct courtship by talking. The complex but mandatory ritualistic displays of dominance, submission, aggression, reluctance, and reassurance all take place during conversation. Although the words you and she choose are important, even critical, most communicating is done with facial expression, tone of voice, posture, and manner of touching. Order body language secrets.
study women, young women, and girls engaged in conversation with a male of any age. Do not listen to the words. Watch the people. Notice the exchange of signals. Watch couples talking everywhere and anywhere until you're able to tell when she's interested and when she's not. Learn your own body language first. Pay attention to your own body language until you can master it so you're not giving it away when you don't want to. Where she's coming from. She knows she can attract boys and some young guys, but doubts her ability to attract a man. You may be the first man, except for obvious dirty old men, to show interest in her, and she's not sure it's real. She is in unfamiliar territory. The rules of courtship as she knows them may not apply. You could just be flirting with her. If she comes back with openness and receptivity, you might laugh at her for taking you seriously. She cannot respond directly until she's feeling more confident in her ability to handle you. Her defenses are up. She's extremely nervous and might take flight physically or emotionally if she experiences any of this is too dangerous. This is an encounter with a far more powerful male than she's used to dealing with. She's unsure of her ability to manipulate you. Will the ploy she uses with boys work on a man? When approached, her fears are the same as any female. She doesn't want to be attacked or groped. Once she sees that's not going to happen, she's afraid of the same things you are, being humiliated or rejected. She has her pride just as you do. She can't respond directly without risking rejection by you. That's the main reason to master body language, hers and yours. To understand her emotional state even more clearly, realize she thinks your age and experience will enable you to charm her pants off before she wants them off. Add the element of self-judgment. She may find herself guilty of perversion for being interested in someone old enough to be her father, or in my case, her grandfather. <laughs> Directing and controlling her desire for you is an ever-present fear of the consequences. She's the one who will be chastised, ostracized, criticized, and any other size you can name. But the worst thing that can happen to you is your friends and the rest of society, including your company, will cluck their tongues, smirk, and say something like, Old Don boy still trying to prove he's got it. The younger, the more concerned she is about not looking perverted by showing interest in front of her peers. She must maintain her image, whatever she thinks it is. And now for the good news. She loves the novelty and excitement of flirting and being the object of a man's attention. If you don't scare her away, she wants more, more, more. A mini scenario. You approach her, an act of aggression. She smiles, an act of reassurance. You smile back, an act of reassurance. You say or do something aggressive. In response, she does or says something submissive, aggressive, or reassuring. If she's aggressive, it may be a test of your courage and worth. Then again, she may want you to drop dead and get the fuck out of here. Demonstrate you won't hurt or embarrass her by being briefly submissive. A smile, a bit of voice awkwardness, then continuing with a bit of aggressiveness, verbally or move slightly closer. If she's submissive, don't respond with aggression. It has been established, at least for the moment, you're the dominant one. Reassure her you intend no harm by being briefly submissive, same as before, smile, bit of boyish awkwardness, then be assertive or aggressive again. If she reassured you, reassure her, same way. Smile, be awkward, slightly awkward, don't get closer. Reassurance requires more aggression. How much? Depends. Usually she's a bit frightened and needs to be reassured you intend no harm. Just like above, show her that you won't hurt or embarrass her by being briefly submissive, a smile, a bit of boyish awkwardness, then be aggressive. How aggressive? Depends on what? Your ability to determine what's needed for acceptance as a dominant male without chasing her away. How long will it take to learn that? Depends on what? on how good you are right now as women. Of course, in moving down the age ladder, you'll have to scare off a few and get dismissed by several others for being too passive before you figure out what not to do. About 50, 50 you scare away and 50 you were too passive. That should teach you. <laughs> Let's review. The male must be aggressive to get it started. The female must be submissive, AKA reassure him she won't claw his eyes out if he gets any closer. If she's reluctant, reassure her with your body language first and continue to be aggressive. If she's submissive, do the same thing. There's a thin line between being a powerful male and too powerful for her. The less confidence she has, the less power you must show while remaining powerful. 
reluctance, resistance, and tests. If you take any of their shit, young women do not respect you. They see it as a sign of weakness and an indication they already have you by the balls. She wants to know, is this guy a real man or what? Why? Because she wants a man. She wants what a man can do with her, to her, and for her. She has to convince herself you're worth the risk. You must pass her entrance tests. These begin when she pretends not to be interested. She's testing your sincerity. If you persist mildly, she's convinced. But in the same conversation or the next, she'll reject you sometimes. Sometimes gently, sometimes not so gently. To find out how you handle it. If you get angry, she figures she's already got you. The end. You also feel when you act like a hurt little boy. React like a man, the one described in the right attitude. She doesn't want another boy. She wants a man, even if it is scary. It's necessary to show interest, but not too much. Certainly not to the point of giving her control. You have to maintain the aura of moderate interest, but somewhat aloof. Otherwise, she'll get around to you when she's done with everyone who doesn't chase her. Have you heard that before in several of these audios? Yeah. Trying is dying. 